Buen dia, Facebook, Landia, and YouTube. This is Muse Medicina, Timmy here. Um, okay, so a few different messages came through. Uh, the first one I want to share with you is about knee pain, ankle pain, leg pain, um, even hip pain. So according to Chinese medicine, all of the lower extremities are ruled by the kidneys. The kidneys house the primordial chi or the reservoir of energy. So the longer we live, the more of this reservoir we're going to be using. If we are doing things like burning the candle at both ends, staying up really late, a lot of hard physical labor, we're going to have lower back kind of issues and those are also going to move down into our feet and our ankles. Uh, so some things that you can do right away to help tonify the kidneys or add energy to these organs that offer yin energy or that calming woman, restorative, not woman, feminine, different um, kind of energies are getting enough sleep and good sleep. Um, hot foot baths every night are going to be great because it enters the meridians, um, the kidney, the liver, the spleen, which are some of the greatest uh, yin organs that house and hold energy. So we want to make sure those are very strong and, and restoring their energy. So hot foot baths every night do wonders for so many things. When I lived in China, so many people just take foot baths every night because they know culturally that it is a restorative practice. Uh, so especially when it's cold outside, it's going to be great because when it's cold outside, we are more able to lose a lot of energy because we're trying to heat ourselves up. So dressing appropriate for the seasons is also going to be great to restore and reserve our energy. Um, what else? When it comes to knee and hip pain as well, we want to think psycho-emotional spiritually, according to Curanderismo, what side is it on? Right side tends to have masculine qualities, left side feminine qualities. Our knees are what we use to step up with. It's like propellers, right? So what are, are things in our life that aren't allowing us to step forward, to step up, like literally step up, like on a step, you use your knee strength. Um, is it a human in your life? Are they a man? Are they a woman? Is it mother stuff? Is it daughter stuff? Is it sister stuff? Is it masculine? Is it your brother? Is it your husband? Um, ankles are like what our foundation is or how we step forward. So I think of stairs as like, uh, or knees as like stairs, like moving up, like going up to the next level. Um, I think of ankles and feet as like moving forward, like the foundation that you're on. So like going to the next phase of life. So same, same, but different. Hips are all about foundation um, and uh, what you sit on. Um, so angles are a foundation in a certain sense, what you're standing on, but hips are like what supports you. Cause it's like even just your, your butt area, right? It's like this, this cushioning. Um, so if you're having front or back hip stuff, back is more like support, front is like flexibility. Um, so is there a human in your life, if it's on your right side, is it the left side? Um, and I learned this from my own issues um, in my current relationship through my curandera, who I go to. She's like, well, are you able to be flexible with the masculine? I was like, uh, oh. Um, and literally, I was having some pain in my right hip area, and as soon as I went, like, took a deep breath and gave myself permission to let him be human, uh, my pain went away. It was like that. Uh, so we want to look at the consciousness of these things at all times. Uh, what else? Uh, some things you can do right away to help any of the pain is flip yourself upside down. So... Um, just putting your legs up and laying down. I don't think I have enough room right here. But arterial blood flow reverses and you know we're always standing straight up and our our blood and our gravity and everything's downwards. So if we, we reverse that, it's just going to help not only our legs and our knees and our hips, etc., but our hearts. Mmm, that feels nice. And um, that's going to help foot baths, placing your hands anywhere don't ever underestimate the power of your own hands in your own healing y'all ever ever touch yourself it's good for you oh. sometimes um and this is the other point that i wanted to get across i'm going to do a whole other video on it sometimes it's not about rubbing even though rubbing feels good especially if things are deficient they want extra 
if things if something's lacking it wants extra so it feels good to rub but then when you're done rubbing it still hurts or it aches even more that's because you dispersed too much energy and it needs holding of energy so you might want to just hold where it hurts if you're weak if you're tired if you've been spending a lot of energy hold the other thing is pain comes from no flow where there's illness, there is no flow. Where there's flow, there's no illness. So that flow can be like there's not enough blood in chi. So making sure you're eating well. Eat a lot of really beautiful, colorful vegetables, okay? Beets are wonderful. Anything that adds to the blood body. Um, and uh, if you're eating a lot of inflammatory foods, phlegm foods, uh, greasy foods, fried foods, fake foods, these things are going to affect you milk cheese bread and you don't have to like completely stop but just balance that out with real food vegetables 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 fruits fruits vegetables um that's gonna really help uh if it's stuck if it's like extra excess like our shoulders get here and they're like full then you want to and really 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 rub it out in america most of us tend to be excess on top and deficient below kidneys below so our aches and pains from down here come from not enough so you're gonna want to hold your kidneys you want to hold your knees it might feel good to rub but don't overdo it because you don't want to disperse energy that you need there so get that hot foot bath going on a uh, hot foot bath is different than a full bath because a full bath will make you sweat which ultimately depletes you in a foot bath gives you energy up and in okay it's just little tidbits from your muse uh, in medicine and uh, I hope you're great and stay up in the springtime springtime lots of stuff coming I've been making more videos sorry I've been absent but this one came strong today peace